Ever wondered how industries maintain efficient energy use while keeping their system running smoothly? Or maybe you have been curious about what all these terms like power factor, active power and reactive power really mean. In today's video we will dive deep into how these concepts come together in one of the most essential tools in electrical systems. Automatic Power Factor Correction Panels or APFC and show you how to wire them like a pro. Consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also don't forget to share, like and let knowledge enlighten your world. Let's start by simplifying what you need to know about power factor. Power factor is the efficiency of your electrical system. It's how much of the supplied power is actually being used to do useful work. If your power factor is low, you are wasting energy. Let's break it down. When a resistive load like a lamp is connected to an AC source, the voltage and current waveforms stay in phase. That's active power or P. The real power we use for useful tasks like lighting or running motors. Now, when we add inductive loads like motors or coils, the current lags behind the voltage. This creates reactive power, represented by Q which doesn't do useful work but still takes up energy. The total power consumed by the system is called apparent power or S, which is the combination of P and Q. Power factor is P over S or cosine phi. This combination is important because it defines your system's efficiency. The closer your power factor is to one, the more efficiently you are using your electricity. So when the power factor is near to 1, this means that the most apparent power you are using is active power. So how does this relate to automatic power factor correction or APFC panels? An APFC panel's job is to correct the power factor by switching capacitors on and off as needed. Capacitors add reactive power back into the system, improving the power factor and reducing wasted energy. These panels are a must in any system where inductive loads are common, like motors and transformers. They work by balancing out the reactive power to keep your power factor near 1, because adding a capacitor is creating a leading power factor. Now that you understand why APFC panels are important, let's walk through the wiring process. First, the panel is connected in parallel with your main supply. This means it doesn't take power directly from the load, but it monitors the power factor and adjusts it as needed. Here in this single line diagram, this bus is a medium voltage 11 kV bus bar. We are connected a capacitor bank to this bus to improve power factor. This capacitor has five stages. It's automatically turned on and off depending on the load. And the controller of these capacitor are monitor the system and improves the power factor and trying to keep it unity. Let's take another example with a low voltage APFC panel. Here we have a molded case circuit breaker which is the main breaker. We have four three pole miniature circuit breakers and four contactors and four capacitors. Every miniature circuit breaker with a contactor with a capacitor is considered as one stage. So we have here four stages. Another miniature circuit breaker two pole is used in control system. It gives power to the power factor controller which monitors the system and start to giving orders to the contactors to be turned on and off to get the capacitors in the system or out the system depending on the load. We have also a CT that is connected to one phase of the three phases and the reading of this CT will be connected to the controller. We have also a selector 
This selector have two inputs and one output an automatic and manual inputs and one output which will be connected to A1 of each contactor. One input of the two inputs of the selector will be connected from the controller which will be the automatic pin. The manual pin will be connected from the main source. And now the output will be connected to one lamp and A1 of a contactor. So this selector will control stage one and lamp number one. The second selector will control stage number two and lamp number two. Selector three will control stage number three and lamp number three. And selector four will control stage number four and lamp number four. Now let's turn on all the breakers in the system. Now we are ready, but still no contactors are in. So no power factor correction is already happened. Now if we choose the selector on the manual option, now the power will directly go to A1 of stage number one. And now stage number one is inside the system. It gives power back to the main bus. Let's turn on stage number two and contactor number two will be turned on manually and gives Q power to the system. Very good. Let's turn it off again. And now let's turn it auto. Now our system is working properly because the controller will give the order to turn on and off every single contactor. And when the contactor is turned on, the capacitor which is connected to it will improve the system because the controller will be the responsible for correcting the system by monitoring the load. For you as an aspiring electrical engineer, electrician or a student mastering APFC panels and understanding how they improve power factor is crucial. These systems are everywhere from industrial planets to commercial buildings and being able to design wire and troubleshoot them will set you apart in the field. To wrap it up. We have explored how APFC panels work, why power factor matters, and how you can wire these panels to improve energy efficiency in any system. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.